Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Channel 10 News. Here we are at the Battle of Somme at the German front. If we could come over here, we see the uh, British British soldiers getting ready to take out the Germans, but because of trench warfare, they can't. Welcome back. Here we are at the uh, German front of the uh, French warfare. As you can see, we have the uh, German soldiers. They're fatigued since no one can go at no man's land because you'll just get shot. As you can see, this guy's this guy's injured, and it's kind of hard to get help since if you get out of the trenches, you'll just get shot and you'll just die. My name is Lancelot Eldon de Mol. I'm an Australian engineer and inventor. My invention of the tank that I will now show you will be able to change war forever. This armored vehicle will be called the tank. The tank can be steered to the right or to the left when proceeding forwards by altering the direction that the chain rail is laid in. The Mark I has a rhomboid shape, caterpillar tracks, and is a 26 feet length. This means that it can negotiate obstacles especially wide trenches that wheeled vehicles cannot. That's it. Hey! You see the enemy back there! You can't see anything! Turn! Turn right! Turn right! What? Turn right! Turn right! Turn right! Turn right! Ah! 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 This is power screen! This is so high! Oh my god! Hey, wait, wait! You gotta fire one more! Okay? On the right back! Right back! Turn right! Tank should be here any second now. We're up in the sis, Drafin Ingerufen. Will we William? We were then von den Briten Zerstoslot. Se aben, Panzer and Und Weir. Basiske we, and Profite. We're brushing, diese Panzer. We're brushing, aus engine on Dagon. We're musen, diese King Gawidin. Nas tundan, Atar Abit. We're having who's this is genial design out that's it. That's this genial design. That's where stores we could then. We're back on sir and do the sun. Ha 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 ha. We're weird in dus da should not follow the flag in un da Britain arse besigin. Swear. We're stupid. Waffen, mehr Raffen. Raffen spüren. Good, 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 good. Hey, that's pretty good. The first tank was invented by Lancelot Eldon de Mol, an Australian engineer and inventor, on September 1911 in Australia. The use of vehicles for offensive attacks was popularized in the Middle Ages with wheeled siege towers and battering rams, but it was, it was only in the 20th century when the armored fighting vehicles started to develop in rapid speed and advance. In order to keep the creation a secret, they were called tanks to deceive the Germans into thinking that they were water carriers. Right, welcome back ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Dr. Beichmann. And today we'll be talking about uh, tanks in World War I. 
So, do you know how tanks were used in World War I? Uh, they were used to great effect to break trench warfare. Um, the design of a weapon that could protect your soldiers as you were crossing no man's land was just tremendous. Um, additionally, towards the end of World War I, and especially in World War II, the mobility of tanks really ended up helping armies modern, or essentially modernize their tactics. You know, find ways to break stalemates that in World War I, especially the early part, you really couldn't do with trench warfare. Uh, do you know what some of the, some of the downsides of tanks? Uh, well, for the crew, they were absolutely atrocious in World War I. Um, you had a lot of people crammed into essentially a metal box uh, that would often break down and it was a sitting duck for things like artillery and anti-tank weaponry. Um, that's a major downside. Uh, that's the big one I can think of. The other downside is you will kill a lot more people with a, a mobile weapon like that. Um, it was very effective at doing its job and essentially killing the enemy. That's a downside for whoever you're up against at least. So how will tanks be used in the future? Nowadays, uh, they're primarily used for like fast strike type options. Um, you don't really see the heavy, heavy tanks anymore that are lumbering giants on the battlefield that were designed to absorb a whole bunch of uh, punishment. You see more of the mobile tanks that, although they're still extremely well armored, um, they can move around the battlefield, they can strike the enemy where the enemy's maybe not necessarily anticipating it. It's much more of the blitzkrieg type warfare, where it's lightning fast and, and get to the point right away. In today's society, tanks continue to be the staple of an army. Almost every country which has an army of their own owns tanks of their own. Tanks have gotten lighter, faster, and more powerful since the war, some with the ability to gain obstacle camouflage. It's certainly impressive to see the rapid military advancements that have happened in the past few years, but this also brings an alarming problem. With these advanced fighting machines all over the world, casualties would reach the millions if a war were to break out. These tanks capable of producing a high level of damage should therefore be used carefully to prevent the start of the next disaster. Okay, it's child, this can't be no homegirl dropping like the NASDAQ. Ten times harder than driving a Ferrari.